What up, ladies and gentlemen? It is good to have you back. Welcome to Wayne's World. Party on, Garth. I guess. Oh my goodness. Welcome to Tarver Book Club. Tarver Book Club. We made it, guys. Looks like we made it. We made it. This is our 100th episode. That's a lie. It's our, it's our fourth episode. But I did get this little audio thing because my last audio was straight hot garbage. So. <laughs> Let's jump right in like kind of cold water in early May. So today I'm talking a book I'm really excited to talk about with you guys. It is by Jerry Brooks. You guys know Jerry Brooks. You've seen his videos, viral principal sensation. You know who's not surprised or an educator in the whole world? You know who else don't listen to teachers? Aunt Becky. You know who else disagrees with policies? Aunt Becky. I'm not very good at it, but he's really good at it because he made it up. So you should check out all of his videos very, very good. So we're looking at his book. It's actually, I think his first published book. It's called Go See the Principal. You know who liked that? This guy. I'm straight up loved it. Cause I, guess what, was a principal. I can relate to so much of what he talks about in here because I think him and I are very similar in our educational philosophy and with regards to how we approach education as administrators. We realize that test scores and this and this, while they have their place, they are not the indicator of an incredible school district. I think culture is the most important thing for education. If you ever heard me ramble on about it, we can talk about it. Oh, look at my gimbal. Oh, would you look at this? What is this, a pony? Wow, my hand looks ginormous when I do this. He focuses on climate and culture. If you've ever been a principal, you know that the closest profession, what it feels like to being a principal is a firefighter because you are constantly putting out fires one after another. You can think the night before, you know what, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna work on this project for three hours. And you roll into your office and some kid is sitting in there because he wore a shirt on the bus that had three curse words and talked about drugs. True story, it happened. Wow. So Jerry is not a huge fan of standardized tests and me, him, we're on that boat. We're on the row team together. Remember Social Network when they're rowing? It was a great scene. Uh, that's Jerry and I on the boat. Unauthorized use will result in disciplinary action. We're the Winklevoss twins. That's who we are. We just, I've just never met him in person. You know what else I respect about the guy? We both have Southern accents and I respect that game. We need more Southern accent educators in the world. I don't know why I'm doing this. This doesn't make sense. Like it's like, you know, the Disney movies where it's like bopping along with the music. Whistle while you work. Do, 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 do. We need Southern accents and education. Can you believe I've never had a formal singing lesson? I love how he puts humor in education because we too often take it way too seriously and he infuses hum humor into what he's doing with a lot of truth. And that's what makes it so pungent. But it wasn't me. So pungent. Let's get started. What? Who is it for? Parents, teachers, administrators. It is very good for all those levels of people involved in these children's education to see how other people in the other roles are coming about and bringing this together to help these students. We are all on the same team. I remind parents about it all the time. First thing, before you get mad at me about something we did because your kid did something, little Johnny did whatever, remember, we are on your team. We want the best for your kid and every other kid in that school. If you're a parent, if you're a teacher, if you're an administrator, this book's for you. What? What will it do for you? It'll give you ideas for helping create a climate, a culture for the people that you work with, no matter what, what job you have, no matter what your role is, because nobody likes to be bored of their day job. Nobody wants to be looking forward to the weekend. I'm ready for the weekend. We're gonna go out and ride four wheelers. That's fine, but you can look forward to your week as well if you, I don't know, enjoy your job and the people you work with. You can work hard and you can have fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? Nobody heard that. Everybody in my house is asleep. Why? 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 Why should you read it? Because it puts education in perspective. It puts what is important for these students and creating an atmosphere where they can feel like they can learn and they can be the best version of themselves they can be. He also has a great joke about standardized tests and politicians. I'm not gonna ruin it because it's really good and you should, I want you to buy the book. I'm not gonna tell you everything. Goodness gracious, what do you think? What do you, I'm not gonna rip off Jerry. Jerry, I'm gonna do you right, man. We got you, bro. We got you. Tarver Book Club. Tarver Book Club. Stay fierce. Working, working, working fierce. TLDR. Too long didn't read. Wow. 
learn to read better. It is all about building relationships. That is the key to everything in the workplace, education, all of it, build relationships, build rapport. It is so undervalued. It's valued, but it is undervalued because it cannot be overstated how important it is. And that goes not just for students, but for educators, teachers, and administrators. It's extremely important. Parents as well. You've got to build those relationships. Straight, I talked about at the beginning, but Jerry and I are very similar in how we approach education. He welcomes feedback from his teachers and other people. I was the same way. I love feedback. I might not always think you're right, but then again, I'm gonna also take it into consideration and see if I can improve based on what you said. I love that he also supports feedback because a lot of administrators don't really care what anybody has to say. They think they're always right. I always say like, everyone thinks they're right. Nobody's like, oh, I think that's the wrong opinion, so I'm gonna think that. We all think we're right. Some of us are just a little more open to hearing other people's opinions and trying to see let it marinate and see if that's something we should take as our opinion as well. If you're, if I'm going to summarize this, I'm going to say, if you're a teacher, like your students, work hard and have fun. Emoji reaction. If I'm going to give this an emoji rating, I'm going to go with bing. I make my own sound effects free of charge. I'm going to give it a gold star. Okay, we talk about, you know, as teachers, we give people stickers for doing well. Jerry's the principal of an elementary school, so I'm sure they did more stickers than we did at a six through 12 building. But I'm gonna give him a gold star. Excellent book, excellent first book. I thought it was wonderfully written. It was funny, it was insightful, it was relatable. It was a good read. I enjoyed it, I recommend it to you. You should get it, buy it for your teachers. It would be wonderful administrators to help teachers see the other side of it, but then also see the parental, parental side of it. All right, guys, that's it, Tarver Book Club. In the comments, tell me what you thought about the book. Hit up Jerry, tell him you did a great job. Even if you haven't read it yet, buy the book on, you know, Amazon or, you know, Barnes and Noble. Books a Million, are they still in business? I don't even know, man. Go, you know, just go talk to Jerry and be like, Jerry, tell me all of it. Have him talk to you for a few hours and tell you everything's in the book. So check it out, join us for Tarver Book Club. Let us know in the comments, what do you want me to read next and review for you guys? And uh, y'all stay sweet, stay, sa stay saucy, stay fierce. Tyler needs to make a better outro, stay fierce. Why do I do, I'm so sorry. Thank you guys so much. You be good, stay safe, and always be learning. Peace. Oh, Chipper Jones. I was drafted with, uh, with Javier Lopez and Ryan Klusko, the Atlanta Braves in the mid 90s. Pretty sick, boy. That's it, that's it. I wanna go watch the Warriors game, I hope they won. Definitely won. They, they can still pull it out. Or that basketball team's better, and, and my child needs to be on a good basketball team.